Hi everyone. Happy Memorial Day for those of us in the States. Um, nice having a long weekend. I start my new job tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that too. Um, I'm going to wrap up the Stitch Mania today, and uh, I thought I would show you some of the works in progress that I have, both needlepoint and cross stitch. Uh, so this may take a while. <laughs> okay, so um, first I going to wrap up the uh, Stitch Mania, which I gotta say I'm pretty glad it's over. Um, I left off with uh, the Dragons of Sumatra, which is what I was supposed to do next, and um, I decided not to use the silk. Um, as gorgeous as it was, it was also very expensive, um, and I had been able to take it home on spec because I've known Randy for decades, um, and so I decided just to go with the the blue, and so this is what I got done. Not a lot, um, but it was a major learning for me. I've decided that um, while I love this pattern, just just no way I'm going to finish it. Um, it's very intricate and it's all one color, and I just don't think I'm going to do all one color for all of that. So I am going to do um, the corner with the dragons in it, and then I'll take some of these um, patterns around it and make a border and just make it small. And then that way um, I can still use the rest of the fabric for something else and I will have finished it. So that's that. Um, next I have the Gingerbread Retreat Cottage um, and I didn't have the threads for that, so I couldn't start it. So instead um, I started the um, linen and threads um, and this is what I got done. Um, I decided that what I am going to do is um, highlight the under. Oh, I don't have the pattern here. Highlight the underneath um, of the like the vines and the patterns and things, so that it looks like there's a little bit of three D. Um, and I'm. Um, I apologize because I did not put down the credits, but I'm following this one the most closely. I love her colors. I love what she, what she did with the heart. The deer. Oh, yes. So here's the pattern, and I can show it to you because it's free. Um, but you can see I highlighted um, where I want the dark and where I want the light. So I'm using like three shades of everything. So three shades of red, three shades of green, yellows, uh, that kind of thing. I think that'll make it um, pretty and a little bit more unique for me. So that's that. Um, I did finally order the threads for the gingerbread cottage, so I will be able to start that um, because I really want to finish that. And um, I'll show you something else that I just finished along the same lines. Um, and then um, stitches in time. Um, I also did not start. Um, it's a huge project. But I zigzagged the fabric. Um, I did get the huge frame from, um, oh, I'm totally blanking on the name, um, but it's the uh, frame, making, uh, frame maker, um, not in the UK, but um, somewhere in the Russian area, um, like Almanac or something like that. Um, I'll have to look that up too and put that in, which I didn't put the notes in last week and I apologize, I will do that. Um, but I have the huge frame. Actually, it has something else on it now, which I'm going to be showing you in a minute. Um, and so I have that ready to go, and I've been collecting the flosses, and I printed out the pattern. Um, but it's such a huge thing, um, and there's someone that's uh, starting it at um, the World of Stitches. Uh, she was putting in the the uh, fish line, you know, to do the gridding and everything. So I'll have someone else to do it with. Um, and then uh, the Chinese garden, uh, I did not have the threads for that either. Uh, so I did not start that, um, but I did go through an order. I was trying to decide whether to buy the kit or just to kit it up myself. And so I decided after going through several sites in my local needlepoint store that I would kit it myself. However, that was not probably very smart because I've noticed that it's going to be much more expensive than if I had just spent the $300 and gotten the kit. Um, 
but I have almost all the threads. Um, I finally got the beads. Um, I went to my beading store in Chelmsford, which is called um, Beetle Beads. Um, it's right on Route 4 in the center of Chelmsford. They have great selection. Uh, so I got my Delica beads there. Whatever they had, I found, as well as the um, some of the Swarovski stuff. Um, I had to send away for some of it at um, uh, Fire Mountain Gems. So I just got those in the mail. So I'm pretty much set, I think, to start that one. But that's another really big one. And so um, I'm not going to start it right away. Um, I'm still waiting for some of the threads. But once I finish some of the things that I've started through Stitch Mania, then I will start it because I've been dying to stitch it. So, And I love her things, and I have three others that I want to do. So, um, so as you can see, I'm sort of... <laughs> picking and uh, thinking about what I want to start because there are just so many projects here and I still have so many that I have to do that are on, on my list that I'm going to show you today that I just decided that it was stupid to start these huge things and then have to put them away when you get so excited about starting something. Um, so then um, I did have Sweet Spring um, by Satsuma Street um, which is this make sure you can see it. I noticed that some of the other ones were low. Um, and I had the thread and everything. Um, so I did start it and got quite a bit done. Um, and this is really fun to stitch because the colors are so bright. Um, and I love bright colors. So that I did get that started and that was fun to work on. And then the last one was um, Oops, that's the lakeside needle, which I already showed you. Um, the Stitch and Witches, which I'm going to finish for Halloween. And so, that was, um, this is also Victoria Sampler. So I got the tree done and the pumpkin. Um, so I can next start on the stitcher. So this is the pattern. Um, and it came with a... Uh, threads in a kit since it's Victoria Sampler. So I, um, I found a little one of these um, online and so I ordered three of them because I love these for kits. Um, and since these are all silks and uh, dyed cotton floss, um, you know, I want to keep them in good shape. So I got this all organized with my um, symbols and everything so I know what I'm doing. And then instead of the, oh, um, she uses the um, Krynik Mora Silk, but I'm, I have a ton of Splendor, so I'm using the Black Splendor. Um, so that was fun to start. Uh, so that is it for all of my Stitch Mania. I kind of fell off the deep edge there towards the end with all these new starts, and some of them were so big that I just couldn't handle it. So I apologize for those who are waiting to see. Um, I will show you... Um, them on Instagram and on some of my future floss tubes. Um, and this is number four, by the way. All right, so that is all my Stitch Mania. Um, I thought I would show you, I talked about my Etsy store, um, and I'm going to be making some uh, needle miners and things. Um, I didn't bring the buttons in. Um, but I'm going to start putting things on my store, uh, including I have a huge box over there of things that I don't want that I'm going to start listing. So um, I will put the store name down on the bottom and uh, feel free to come and browse because I would like to get rid of this stuff so that I have more money to spend. <laughs> All right, so I thought I would um, do some cute animal things and I just want to warn you, <laughs> I'm not selling these. These are the ones I'm keeping for myself, but these are the kinds of things that I'm going to be selling. And I can get more of these, I think. So this is a little pig that I'm going to be using on a project that I'll show you in a minute. And this is an elephant. Um, and I have a turtle, which is nice and glittery, which I'm going to use on the um, the the C one that's part of the trilogy um, that I'm doing on the blue fabric that I showed last week. So that's the kind of things that um, I'm going to sell in addition to the buttons. And those um, 
should be fun. They're actually pins, so I have to sort of make them out to be um, needle minders. So it takes a bit of trimming and that kind of thing. So one of the um, Stitch Mania things that I found love, I wanted to finish one project in May that I started on Stitch Mania. And so I chose one of the smaller ones, and that is the um, Wizard of Oz one. It's called Dorothy's Discovery. Um, I'll try to find a picture here, which I thought was very cute, and I had the threads for. So that's what it is. And I'm almost done. Um, I did find a cute needle minder, Dorothy. So you can see um, that I'm almost done with it. I just have one more um, row of a lettering of the last line in the poem. And I finished Dorothy, and I have to finish the path and the little um, emerald city up in the corner there, and that will be done. Um, and so that's my goal for the month. I also um, started um, another Victoria sampler. Um, I have a friend whose daughter is getting married in August, and so this is the wedding present for her. Um, it's only three inches wide, um, but I think it's very pretty and it's suitable. And so I started that. Um, and I'll be working on that um, through May and June. And I will post what I've done as I get it done on Instagram. So I'm doing this on 28 Count Lugana. It's something that I had in my stash. Um, and I don't remember the name of the, the fabric. It, there was no thing with it, so I can't tell you exactly what color it is. The original fabric is called Forest Platinum 28 Count, but um, I didn't have that, so I went with what I had. Um, and then... Um, I'm designing a project. Um, I fell in love with the Irish Curse. Um, and I'm doing it on 24 count um, Congress cloth in white. Um, and what I did was I printed out, I wrote up the curse in an Irish um, looking uh, font. Um, and then I'm tracing it onto the Congress cloth. So the curse is, may those who love us love us, and those who don't love us, may God turn their hearts. And if he doesn't turn their hearts, may he turn their ankles, so that we'll know them by their limping. <laughs> Just so funny. I saw it on a needlepoint canvas, and I fell in love with it. So I started it, so you can see what I'm going to be doing, and how I'm wording it through. And then I'm going to stitch that up, um, probably in a dark green, um, and, uh, and do some kind of um, Irish uh, Celtic knot type thing around the edge, which I'm going to have to figure out, um, but that's the fun part. <laughs> so that's an actual needlepoint project that I'm working on, um, but that is a, no hurry. And then I think I showed you this before, but I'll show it to you again. Um, and that is my uh, Cloud Factory Giant Harry Potter, only mine isn't giant, because I am doing it on 32 count Lugana over one. And so I've gotten quite a bit done, although I haven't done any, I don't think, since I showed it to you last time. I just took it off the hoop, so it's not real straight here. But I am just having so much fun working on this. Um, so... That's one of my whips that I'm currently working on. Um, the next one is um, another Victoria sampler. It is called um, I think the Harbor. Harbor Village. I just think it's gorgeous and it reminds me a lot of Maine and my family goes up to Maine every summer we have a cottage up there on the lake um, and so I've gotten quite a bit done on that as well um, I'm using a new um, 
uh, Q-snap frame, which I find that I really like. So this is how much I've gotten done. You can see I did the beading and the open work. Um, and uh, it's fun to work on. I haven't done open work in a long time, so... And there's some open work on the wedding sampler that I'm working on, too, so... Remind me again about how to do it, because I haven't done it in so long. And then I'm working on one of my first um, overall project called Dragon's Lair. Um, it is from Pain-Free Crafts. So this is the pattern, which I just fell head over heels with. Um, and I'm almost done with the first page, and I found a really great um, needle minder <laughs> to go with it. Um, the needle's actually on the back, <laughs> but this is how much I've gotten done, which is the corner of the cave and the start of, of the first dragon. Um, I unfortunately found out Moth had eaten the fabric here, um, so I've got some of the, the red fish line that they sell for gridding. I uh, started without the gridding, but I found it was much more difficult to do, and so I finally bit the bullet and I've been doing the gridding. Um, I did enough to at least do four pages for now, um, and when I get there, I'm going to have to weave in some, some fabric so that I can continue stitching over it because I am not restarting this. Um, so I'm taking a, a calculated risk here. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> and then I have... First I drink the coffee, and then I do the things, um, which is also on a... Sorry, I should have had this organized. I sort of threw stuff on the guest bed so that I could do the video. Um, and so this is what I've gotten done. This is a gift from my father, who drinks a lot of coffee and is mostly retired, but not quite. Um, and... That is a sampler by Heartstrings, Heart, yeah, Heartstrings Samplery. So this is the overall pattern. So you can see I've gotten quite a bit done. And I'm trying to wrap that one up too. Probably won't be before the end of May because my father's birthday is tomorrow. So this is going to be a little late. Sorry, Dad. But he knows it's coming. He's seen me working on it. So it's not anything that's going to be a surprise. And uh, I just want to show you, this is a... A scissor fob that I made a really long time ago in a class. Um, and uh, my first cord that I ever made too. Um, so I don't know if I'll actually have cross stitch scissor fabs. Maybe what I'll do is, or fobs, <laughs> maybe what I'll do is put together little kits or something and design some that you can buy. Um, and these are Bowen scissors. It's a rabbit um, that I just got, uh, which I love. I miss my bunny. Um, and then my last project is needlepoint. Um, this, I'm making this for my daughter. I actually, it's one of those needlepoint canvases that you buy and it's pre-stitched for you. You just have to do the background, but I thought it was so cute. And, um, she has her first cat. So this is the pattern. And so as you can see, I'm stitching the background. Um, being very good and doing basket weave for those needle pointers, um, which doesn't distort it quite as much. Um, I don't have it on a frame. I was thinking actually of getting a smaller frame and putting it on. But what I thought was fun was that I did her um, initials in, um, I think that's a road stitch, um, so that it'll stick out from the background, I hope. Um, it'll be subtle because it's, you know, tone on tone, but... Um, I thought that was very cute, so I'm doing that. And then some other needlepoint projects I'm doing. This is, um, and I don't know who the designer is, unfortunately, but I bought the pattern um, from uh, Randy Nelson, who runs uh, The World in Stitches in Littleton. And um, it's going to be a really big um, pin cushion. And so it's sort of a sampler with different stitches and you choose the um, water colors that you want, 
and then you coordinate with uh, three to five other pearl cottons. And so um, these are all the colors that I'm using. Um, and then I have some, you can see I have a bit more to do up here. So it's going to take a while too. But it's a good reminder of some of the stitches that I haven't, I've been doing a lot of um, uh, regular, like, you know, basket weave and stuff like that. And then this is one that I started a long time ago that I pulled back out because I want to finish it. Um, oh, and I forgot to bring the book. I'll have to put the credits down. But it's... Um, see it's sort of a rainbow i love rainbows um and so the colors continue darkening down here um, and each of these round or octagonal shapes um, is a different stitch so if i bring it up closer you can see um, and i'm doing this in floss so it's not just dmc so that the designer could get the specific colors that she wanted she uses anchor she uses um different other brands too um and it's just gorgeous. And so this is actually going to go in my office. Um, but uh, I love working on it. But I put it away for a while. Um, another one I'm working on is this, which I found on eBay. Um, and this is just regular tent stitch and basket weave. Um, I think because the, the design is so intricate, there isn't any way you could do other stitches. I could do other stitches around here, and I'm thinking about that. But I want to make this into a pillow for my living room, and so I may just stick with a basket weave. Who knows? Um, but I haven't done very much. I have worked on the center. Um, so I have like a lot of this stuff done here, and some of the... all the, the whole center, this whole center part is done. And I'm doing it in silk. Um... So I am using pepper pot silk. So these are the colors. Uh, and uh, pepper pot silk is great. It's one ply, um, comes in things like this, and uh, with great names. This is salt, I and mean, the black is called pepper, of course. Um, and it's wonderful to work with, especially in needlepoint. Um, and I try to do a lot of projects in silk if I can. I mean, it's more expensive, but it's just so gorgeous, and I, it, I love the feel of it as it pulls through the canvas. Um, and then um, the last one that I'm working on is this, and I thought I put the book here. Um, it's all, another sampler, Christmas sampler. Um, the lines on the tree are just stitched, tent stitch. Um, and then if you pull it up closer, you can see that each of those sections is a different stitch. Um, and I think it's Susan Triglone. Uh, and I know I have a book here. <laughs> that is a disaster. Uh, and of course I can't find it. Um, well, I'll post a picture of it, um, on Instagram so people can see what it looks like when it's done because it's gorgeous um, and then I'll be hung up on the wall in our hall during the Christmas season um, and then I have a couple things that um, I finished uh, the first one is a 3d gingerbread house and I've just fallen in love with gingerbread houses and I just thought this was so cute I got, I got the pattern free on Pinterest um, there's a set of three of them so this is the first one um, it's on plastic perforated canvas, which is 14 count. Um, so I just cross stitched it, each of the four sides of the house. And then I did the roof, which is little candy balls. Um, and then you stitch the four sides together along with the bottom, which I did in rainbow. Um, and then you just glue the roof on. Um, and so I used, you know, the craft Alina sticky glue stuff which worked perfectly and it dries clear um, and so that's going to be going on my piano with some of the other ones I have. I have some needlepoint ones, I have some cross stitch houses, I'm just going to make um, a little village of different gingerbread houses of different techniques um, and including probably a plastic canvas one um, you know like 14 count or 7 count or something like that <laughs> because I just think they're so cute um, and the other one and I'm actually making some buttons, um, 
not of this particular pattern, but of the wording. Um, first needlepoint project I finished a long time in case of emergency, point me towards the nearest needlepoint store. Um, I, I changed the colors a bit on it to, to go more with my um, sewing room and office, and so I'm going to get that framed and hang it up. I didn't use the purple, I used red instead of the purple. Um, and I use more of the turquoise um, and the pale yellow in the background, so I love the way it came out. I love the colors on it. Um, <clears throat> and they go actually with the curtains in my sewing room, so that's most likely where it's going to end up. It needs to be um, straightened up a little bit, but I just did it in pearl cotton, so that's not an issue. So I think that's all I have to show today. Um, I do have more whips that I'm going to show you next time. Um, the next video I'm making is the Excel one that I keep promising. I've been planning it out. Um, I have a whole box of floss here that I need to wind. I'm not going to do the whole thing before I do the video, of course. As you can see, I have a bit to wind. <laughs> a lot of these are going with the, um, the Stitch in Time and the... Um, other one that I'll show you next time that I just started. I showed it to you last time. I just had the little corner done of the dark blues and blacks um, of a nursery, no, a fairy tale, um, which should be fun once I get all that black stuff done, which I'm trying to get done first, then the rest of it will be fun and bright colors. And I'll show you that next time too. So that's it for today. Um, Happy Memorial Day, everyone. Enjoy your long weekend, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.